welcome to our Maths and Industry video. We are going to talk about the mathematics behind gambling and the strategy behind each casino game. Before we start, we need to define these key concepts that we're going to use throughout the whole video. At the end, there'll be links to each of the different games so you can pick the one that you fancy. And let's get on with the video. So, summation notation makes use of the Greek letter sigma. It has an index of summation, for which we're using i. It has a starting point, and then it has a stopping point as well. And then it also has a typical element. For example, with this over here, we have the summation sign, sigma, and then we've got i, which starts from 1, and then ends at 4, and then we're summing i from 1 to 4, so it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which equals 10. A set is a group of numbers called elements. Elements cannot be repeated in the set. The union of two sets is the collective of the elements in each set. The intersection of two sets is the collective of terms that they share, which in this case is zero, also written as the empty set. We use this symbol here to say that this number is an element of this set. When talking about subsets, we say that C is a proper subset of A if the elements of C are in A and C is not equal to A. B is an improper subset of B because B is equal to B. Basic probability is the number of desirable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. An example of this is a flip of a coin, where you can either get a head or a tail, so the total number of outcomes would be 2. But we only want the probability of getting a head, so the actual answer would be 1 over 2, or a half. And then, if we want two heads straight after each other, they're both independent events, so we can just times the two separate probabilities together to get one quarter. Um, so, factorials are an essential mathematical concept. Essentially, x factorial, any number factorial, is itself multiplied by x minus 1, x minus 2, all the way to 3 times 2 times 1. Um, so for example, 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 times 6, 7, on and on until 2 times 1, which is 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, 0, 0. As a special case, 0 factorial is defined to be 1. So this notation here, is known as the binomial coefficient, often called n choose r, because it represents the number of ways to choose r items from a list of n items. It is equal to the following expression. So, for example, if you have a list of 20 items on a shopping list and you want to see how many ways you can choose two items off that list, then that would be equal to 20 choose 2, which is evaluated in the following way. This makes sense because on your list of 20 items, you can make 20 choices for your first item and 19 for your second. However, this means that you've counted each option twice, so you have to divide by two. Because, for example, if you picked item 6 first and item 11 second, that's exactly the same as picking 11 first and 6 second. Lastly, observe that for any number n, we have that n choose 1 is given by this. So it's just equal to... If you want to learn more about free co-op poker and its maths and strategy, click here. If you want more about the mathematics behind craps and the strategy you can use, click here. Maths and strategy behind Kino. If you want to learn more about this game, click the link below. If you want to learn more about roulette and the mathematics behind it, click here. My video is on the maths behind slots. Click here to watch. If you want to head to the section on blackjack, then click here.